Hey guys, Allaha here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. And if you're an existing subscriber, how you doing? Welcome back. Thanks for joining me. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get this look right over here. And every single thing, including the wing liner, is done by airbrush. So if you guys want to learn how to get this look, please stay tuned. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and turn on the bell notifications so you guys are notified every time I upload a new video. Now, one more thing. Before we get started, I just want to share with you guys a fantastic way that I use to organize all my Dynair airbrush makeup. I know many of you have been reaching out to me and saying that you use Dynair as well, but you're not too sure how to organize it, and I'm about to share that with you. You guys may have seen this beautiful thing on my Instagram and my YouTube before. This is by The Lippy Book. I will tag them on Instagram and share their page with you guys. And I'll write it down below just so you guys have it and can go check them out because this thing is incredible. So it's beautifully built. It's very, very sturdy. It's got this zipper here that zips it up and you can carry it just like this. So this is how I have everything organized right here. I'm going to use my shoulder to hold this thing up. And you'll see I have my opalescent line all throughout here. A couple of more trickling down onto this page over here. Then we got the shimmer line right here. Up here we have the glamour natural line, glamour natural line, glamour natural line. Down here we have some more glamour, a couple of eyebrow shades, and a couple of hair shades. And I use that to fill in my hairline. On this page over here, we have the FX Fantasy line. Then down over here, we have some neutralizer shades. And this is also a few more of the FX Fantasy colors. And over here is my foundation shades and contour shades in all of the different formulas. So I have the waterproof formula, the makeup extender, the uh, soft glow matte, and the, what is this one? The velvet foundation. So. I like to keep this because every day is a new day and I don't know what formula I want to use so I like to keep them all right over here. That's how I like to keep it organized. There's also a little mixing palette that comes with the lippy book for you to mix your products on. I also have a little bottle of cleaner and the moist and dewy right up here. And that concludes my entire Dynair airbrush kit. So yeah, definitely check out the lippy book and let me know your thoughts on it. You can store all of your lipsticks in there. You can store smaller bottles of foundation in there. There's so many things you can do with this and it's so convenient. I just have to carry this thing and I got my whole kit here. Normally in that back compartment where you saw some of the tools, I also just store my airbrush. My small compressor or my Dynair one compressor fit right in the back of this and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I just put it straight in and that's it i just have to take this with me when i'm traveling and it's so convenient so definitely check them out and yeah without further ado let's jump right on into this tutorial prime my lids i'll be going in with the urban decay eyeshadow primer potion the original formula I have really been loving this eyeshadow primer for my airbrush looks just because it actually just keeps it in place. Nothing creases. Everything looks perfect at the end of the day and I am here for it. First thing I'm going to do is go in with my Dynair Neutralizer in the shade Vanilla and apply this to my brow bone. Next, I'm going in with the Dynair Neutralizer in the shade Golden Olive and applying this to my crease. Next, I'm just going to add a couple of drops of Dynair Neutralizer in the shade Nutmeg to whatever I have left in my makeup cup. I'm going to back bubble those two together and use this as my transition shade. Thank you. 
Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Lady Luck from the Opalescent line and apply this to my lids. Add a couple of drops. Just like that. And give that a chance to dry, move on to the other eye and go back and forth. I'm gonna go ahead and clean out my airbrush again because it has those shimmer particles in it and then I'm gonna go in with my next shade. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Dynair Neutralizer in the shade Coco and apply this to my outer corners and drag it into my crease. Now for this part, I will be using a stencil. gonna drag this into the crease a little bit and I'm gonna take that color and drag it into my lower lash line next I'm going into the Dynair natural in the shade Marsala and applying this to my outer corners Just like that. And again, I'm gonna drag this to my lower lash line. And I gotta be quick because my eyes tear up. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Colair Opalescent in the shade Enchanted and 24 Karat. And I'm gonna mix these two together and hit them on my inner corners. Just like that. Now I'm gonna move on to eyeliner. Bear with me, cause I gotta get real close to my mirror when I do this eyeliner, cause I'm blind. <laughs> For my eyeliner, I'll be going in with my Dynair Glamour in the shade Jet Black. So I'm just gonna do one, two, maybe three drops. I'm just gonna clean off this tip because sometimes the makeup likes to get dried up on the airbrush needle. So we're just gonna clean that off with our nail. Push the little rubber back and close that off. I'm gonna place this right over here. I'm gonna start with the inner corner. Kinda gotta get close for this, so bear with me. Boom. And now, Gonna hit this part right here. Now we're gonna use this bottom edge of this to connect the eyeliner to that edge. So, right. Like that. So I winged this out a little bit more because I wanted it to be super sharp and crisp. And that's how you guys do airbrush eyeliner. You're welcome. It may seem like it's super hard, and I'm not gonna lie. It takes practice, especially if you're like me and you have super sensitive eyes. You have to be quick so your eyes don't tear up. And that's what I got there. Now I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eye, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what the eyeliner looks like. Now I'm just gonna use that same black shade on my lower lash line. Much better. Same thing with the other eye. Now I'm just gonna use a traditional eyeliner to wing out the inner corner of this eyeliner to make it look nicer. Now to do that, I'm gonna be using my JCAT Beauty Kitten Fine Liner and just drag that in. Just 
just like that. Now I'm just gonna go in and clean up underneath my eyes first. And to do that, I'm just gonna use a disposable lip applicator and some airbrush cleaner, just like that, and clean up underneath. It may have not looked so bad, but look how dirty it was. For the face, I will be moisturizing with the Huda Beauty Wishful Honey Balm New Moisturizer. This is super, super pretty. It's like pearlescent. You guys, this feels so nice on the skin and you can see it gave me like an instant glow. I love it. For my primer, I'm gonna go in with this Dynair Line Diffusing Perfect Skin Primer. I've used this a few times and I really love how it kind of softens any lines that I may have and just makes my skin look super smooth and you just need a tiny drop and I just apply this right here. Next, I'm going to conceal my face and I'll be using my Dalton Beauty TCE concealer in the shade light medium and I like to apply my concealer with a brush. I like to conceal my entire nose because I do have a lot of redness there. And chin. I'm gonna get that little blemish right there. So annoying. And my forehead. And then I'm just gonna blend this all out. Now I'm just gonna set that concealer in place using my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Okay, now I'm just gonna dust off that powder. Now, I always like to do my lashes and mascara last because when I'm airbrushing, the makeup tends to get on the lashes or my eyelashes and then it looks kinda gray. So I like to finish off with lashes and eyeliners. I mean, um mascara so next I'm gonna go in with my foundation for foundation I'm going in with my Dynair velvet in the shade light golden beige now I'm not sure if this is my exact color but we're gonna test it out together gonna use this stencil to cover my eye makeup and this is the coverage that I prefer it's not for everyone so if you don't like full coverage just go in with less passes you don't have to go in with as many passes as I did you could use less makeup as well that's the beauty of makeup it's not one size fits all you can do whatever you want next I'm going in with my Dynair velvet in the shade nutmeg to contour
Next, I'm going to highlight my face using the same shades we used on our inner corner. This is the Colair Opalescent in the shade 24 Karat and Enchanted and mix those two together. One, two. One, two. Back, back, back. how pretty that glow is. Oh, way too much on my nose. <laughs> way, way too much on L nose. So the way we're gonna fix that is go back in with our foundation shade, which mine was the shade Light Golden Beige and just spray over top of this super, super shiny nose. And you can just fix it. Glad I made that mistake so I could show you guys. For my blush, I'm going in with my Dynere Natural in the shade Dark Peach Pink. Two drops. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and fill my eyebrows in off camera using airbrush. Again, I have filmed this before, so I'm not gonna film it again this time. If you guys wanna see a separate eyebrow tutorial, please let me know. But I do have it in most of my other videos, so just check those out. And I'm just trying to save a little bit of time because I have a feeling this is gonna be a long video. Okay, now my eyebrows are all filled in and we're gonna go on to mascara and lashes. For my lashes, I'm going in with my Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara. I legit have not put this mascara down for the last couple of months. Now I'm just gonna use my Benefit Cosmetics Hula Bronzer to contour my nose a little. Now that eyeliner has changed a little bit of color because of the highlighter and the foundation and all that. So I'm just gonna go back in with my Glamour in Jet Black to color that back in. A drop of that will be fine. Just use a stencil so you don't mess everything up. I'm gonna do that lower lash line a bit. Just like that. See how that one is so much darker than this one now? We're gonna do the same thing for this eye. The lashes I'm gonna be going in with are the Lily Lashes in the style Miami Flare. Okay, now both eyelashes are on. Just gonna use my little mini eyelash curler to pinch these together. For my lips, I'm going in with my ColourPop Cosmetics I Love Sarai Lip Pencil in the shade Curvy, and I'm lining my lips with that. Next, I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stripped. They had a buy one, get one free sale, I think it was. Buy one, get one free or 50% off lipsticks or whatever it was, I ended up buying four of these. <laughs> the lash band is a little bit shiny, so I'm gonna go in with that jet black color and just seal this band. Now to finish off this entire look and give me a nice and dewy finish, I'm going to go in with my Airbrush CBD Moist and Dewy and spray a couple of drops of this all over my face. Just like that and you guys can see what a beautiful glow that has given me. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this 
full airbrush tutorial. I love learning new things so I can share it with you guys and I've been really trying to perfect my craft of airbrush eyeshadow so I can teach it to you guys. And I know there's plenty of beautiful artists out there that are super talented that have some airbrush makeup tutorials already out there, but I wanted to also introduce it to my channel and I did a while ago, oh, but now I'm doing more complex looks so you guys can follow along with me. So yeah, as always, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And turn on the bell notifications so you guys are notified every time I upload a new video. And if you're not following me already, please go ahead and follow me on all my other social media outlets. I have Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. All of that is at Makeup by Alaha. So yeah, thank you guys for the love. Thanks for the support. I love you all so much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.